here. here. Welcome back, it's your boy Heater and the flow sick with the whole fever. It's your boy Hussey, you know that we live. Now drop a like and then be sure to subscribe. We're back, reacting to One Piece and believing we're truly excited to witness the legend of Luffy because he's on a mission to prove he's the king of the pirates. Uh -huh. Much love to Jim Bay, we appreciate your pledge. No more no for the track, it's time to react. We're ready for what happens next. There, mm -hmm. We want your life. That's part of being afraid of running. He's about to pull up, bro. Ka -pa -pa -pa. <clears throat> no, he ain't out here, bro. He about to get out there. I'm talking about your papa? -pa? No, 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 no. Kappa. Oh, Kawamatsu. Yes. Nah, he ain't pulling up. <clears throat> mm, mm. Nah, they don't want to box with this man. Mm. Oh, man, he's going to kill them all. Oh, they're moving quick. Do they recognize her? If that's Kumarasaki, they want her life. Easy. Here's moving. <laughs> Go get him, bruh. Get off my woman. Yeah, for real. Three piece. Uh, oh, one, two, three, four, five. He's gonna stand in front of the door. <laughs> He's amazing, right? <laughs> right. There's a ninja in there with her. Oh. It's personal. Unforgivable. That's the main offense. Is he a dangerous guy? He is. Mm. Yeah, he's a part of that ninja force. Uh, bodies in the trees. Right. Oh, he's strong. Ah, we tank those. He felt it a little bit. Yeah. All right, respect them, bro. Stop putting that man's name in your mouth. Get off of it, bro! Mm, Get him out of you. here. He felt it. His soul. Mm. Oh no. It's getting cut. Oh. His soul. <laughs> he went golden ore on that one. Yeah. So many more. But they're not. <laughs> you should be sorry. Mm. This was Saki. Mm. Oh, that's why he wants to go back to Ringo. Because I know you need a god already. <laughs> That's his precious. That first. <laughs> He's pooped. She's doing bad spiritually. Where does she end up going? Huh? Where does she end up going? Uh, Usopp had her. Uh. Alright. Yeah, she'll be alive at least. Ooh, Rochi getting body by Zoro. Yeah, deep rooted pain there. Mm -hmm. She had to be booed up with him. Right. Finish him off. Mm. Yeah, let her do it. After I top off four of his heads, I'll let you have the last. <laughs> <laughs> or how many heads? He got five heads or six? Mm, I don't know. Maybe eight. Mm. Big man. Yeah, you're losing folk. Got him. They capture law. So you think, oh, they think he's snitching? Mm. They whooping him. Hey, big face. Right. Not no breath in your face. Ugh. Ugh. Please snitch. 
It's all of us. Mm, plenty of them, man. All right, beautiful drawings. So I guess he turned himself in for his people. Cause I saw his boys picture up there. I think Law turned himself in for his people. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ah, old school Shinobu. They've been spread, spread. <laughs> <laughs> That's our life. And they're still locked up, huh? Right, it was a prank! Mm. That's a dope shot. Right, come on, man. Yeah, they gonna let him go. Of course not, because he wasn't. Gotta make a play at night. Oh, okay. Maybe they didn't get out. Yeah, they just caught all straight up. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. Even more reason. For all the comrades they lost, representing the souls. Like a wake. Yeah. Got a lot of dead homies out there. Orochi ain't got no heart. He just do it just for the tradition of it. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're celebrating the killings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's Luffy's heart. What is happening? Hmm. He going down bad, man. Shee. Yeah. Oh, it's taking a minute. Mm, it's painful. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what made him pass out. Oh, it's been a process. He needs some food. Stomach sound like a T-Rex. Right. <laughs> I need some food. <laughs> Chop him. Oh, nice. All the dumplings. <laughs> Turn up, chop. Nice. Feed everybody. He saved everybody. <laughs> you fools. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Stop him. See? They did get out. When they get out? I guess they got traded for law. Oh. Oh, the switch up. Yeah. Making it seem like they'll meet at another location instead of the port. The whole game. Hmm. He didn't tell them the truth because he said, luckily we escaped. Why he ain't keeping it real, man? I guess Law didn't want them to know. Law told, well, they know what happened. They going to get Law, bro. Yeah, but I guess he didn't want Nami and them to know, though. Law did. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, that's trying to take the voodoo off. Because he couldn't hit Hawkins because he had the game tied up his list as like his sacrifices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I guess he gave himself up, though, for his gang's sake to get out. Right. Sinister but if he would have put them in shambles, it technically wouldn't have killed them, though, even if you cut them up. You know what I'm saying? Right. Take me instead. He's got his heart. <laughs> Who, Hawkins? It's unreasonable. <laughs> 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 About to free them. 
Ain't even cuffed yet. Don't ever tell it. I wonder why. We could have beat him as soon as he released the voodoo dolls. For real. Locked up. Getting tortured. Let's break him out. Mm, he's on the edge. <coughs> I have to go sue him. Drake? Oh, no, who that? Oh, yes. Oh, they're connected from the past. When he was a kid. Drake and Law. He's got a heart for his guys. Mm. Man, they're on the wrong side of history. Terribly, right? What out? What's the plan? Out? No way. Nigga, you know what's up. We already tried Kaido once. I'll never tell. That's how they look in the episode. Drake seems conflicted, and I wonder why. Now, I know we had a little run-in in Sabote that one time when we first met Law and Drake. They were talking to each other, and they're connected, you know, ever since their childhoods. Yeah, I didn't. I probably forgot that little conversation that they had over Sabote. I'm guessing they had more than one run-in. I saw Buddy with the headpiece in one of the wanted posters. So I figured that Law turned himself in then for his crew, but he didn't want Beppo and them to tell the Straw Hats what had happened. Maybe because he didn't want to feel as a burden before the plan. Like, don't even put yourself at risk to try to save me. Yeah. At this point, Drake might free him. He might be able to manipulate Drake a little bit or Drake might turn and defect from Kaido and free Law himself. Some little D type stuff's about to happen for him. Right, right. He's expecting some D type action to happen. <laughs> I'm just saying. Pause, yo. It's yeah. about to be a butt pull for him. He knows it. I guess you can't call it a butt pull. Hey, man. He's really getting whooped out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go through some pain. But yeah. Somehow it always works out in our favor. Yeah. We still haven't freed the other prisoners that were grayed out on the other side of the gates. Ooh, see, the army just getting bigger and bigger. Right. We got an army. We got a squad right now. We've been talking to our pod, having this emotional hoorah rah but there's a couple of pods we ain't even touched yet in the same camp. <laughs> yeah, we've been on D block the whole time. For real, bro. <laughs> we opened up the C pod, the B pod. We opened them up and ran through them. Yeah. Luffy and Big Mom yeah, running. Right. We started off the episode. You had Zoro fighting with the little ninja guild. Yeah, he feels incomplete without his sword. And he's trying to go to Ringo. That's why he asked her. You trying to go back to that house in the snow, ain't you? I really don't care, but I know you want to go back to that bridge, don't you? Yeah. I got you. I got you. I'll lead you there because I know you need a guy. Yeah, for I've been with you long enough to know that you be going the wrong way a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so I got you. I know that's what's precious to you. I got you, boo. I've really been trying to get back there this whole time. <laughs> he didn't care about her going back to the snow. Where is my sword? I got to go back to the bridge. She's worried about Otoko. And he told her, don't worry, my crew's got her now. She's safe physically. But I know she's mentally and spiritually broken. There's no coming back from that. Not this quick. Watch your daddy die. I'll be straight the same day. Right. I only knew him for a couple of days and I feel like crying. <laughs> so I can imagine how she feels about her dad. But then he knows Hayori wants that kill. Cause you know, this is 20 years in the making. Her family getting killed and her having to deal and live and then be called upon by this dude and have to flirt with him and look him in the face. Just to keep her identity safe. And she been wanting to kill him this whole time. That would be dope if Yori got the kill. It's good that Zoro wants to kill him. I wouldn't mind seeing Zoro do it, but it would be even more fire if Yori got the blade on him. Right. What better way for him to go out? His love, the one he cares about the most, mm -hmm. killing him. That would be pretty dope. 
She might be essential in the actual killing of it. She should finish him. Um, um, or maybe for our sister. You know what I'm saying? He's got to get Kaido, or at least be instrumental in Kaido's bringing down. I mean, and that's a tall order. I mean, he's got the right build, though. As far as the dragon he can turn into. But he turns his, into a little baby dragon. He's small right now, so give him 20 years of growth. You know what I'm saying? And let him get out here in these trenches, get fighting, beating people up, losing. How does he get 20 years of growth in an eight day span in an eight year old's body? Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. I'm pretty sure at the end of this thing right here, though, Luffy ain't gonna end up killing him now. We're gonna end up having to see him again later. Just like having to see Big Mom again later. What if something happened and he gets the 20 years that he didn't accumulate in the physical, it just speeds him up to 28 or something. Right, and then he's in his physical prime. But then that would be terrible for Kinemon and Raizo. Cause they might age out. Yeah. And Raizo was already ugly as hell back in the day, so. Yeah, you always look under your age. You said that before, bro, like a grown man when he was 10. <laughs> yeah, he was hurt. What if when the 20th year is fully complete, the 20 years they skip catches up with him? That's the only way I could see Momo even being significant in the battle, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because he'd be a much bigger dragon. But then, does he know how to hone capabilities then? He got the voice of all things. Ain't no telling what he might be able to do. Something's going to talk A butt pull. <laughs> <laughs> what you're saying is my guy needs a butt pull. He needs a butt pull for real. He's going to need a butt pull to be instrumental in this battle. Hey, that whole theory is a butt pull. If they get their powers back 20 years of age and strength. Or it That's could be a detriment. That's what I'm saying. It might be good for Momo then only. Yeah. But Kinemon might shrivel up and... Then again, I mean, look at Doji. That Doji's doing good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he just gonna be even better. But he told them, I've been honing my skills over these last 20. He ain't had no practice. I'd beat the both of you up. Ain't that right, Doggy? <laughs> <laughs> that right, ain't it, Doggy? Kenny, well, stop playing, man. Y'all old as hell. Dang. It was last episode that kid said he ain't even wanna rock with us, wasn't he? That boy got some pride on him. I knew he was gonna say it too. He got trust issues. He already don't like making alliances, but the last time he made one, them same boys became the ops. Facts. Hawkins, Apu. Couldn't believe it. He was the only one that stayed true. So I guess they got his whole crew in. Maybe his other crew members are at different excavation camps. Yeah, split them up. Yeah, yeah. So now he's looking for his other crewmates. Even though Luffy already showing himself to be different, unlike the others, he fought with Kaido. That's why he's locked up here. And then Killer acting all weird. <laughs> Oh, yeah. He was stressed out in the mind. Right, <laughs> My yeah. number two ain't even talking no more. <laughs> he still won't talk to him, though. That's the thing that's baffling me still. He was able to talk to Zoro. Why is he not talking to his guy? Maybe he feels ashamed to even talk about what happened. Good episode. Looking forward to the next. I'll let you boys wear out. The difference between us is scale is so vividly obvious While in the studio, I become Uber's And then I start treating the beat like the mafia You think the nearest just hollering jacatas Cause fire's proceeding from heaters and esophagus Me and my partners all represent Charlotte The city that's North Carolina's metropolis And we've been patiently waiting to display our greatness Showcasing our lyrical dominance And it be